Just fix my desk. Anyways, what's up? Hey guys, it's me. Welcome to this episode of Aries. This area. I'm gonna work on that. Uh, today I'm gonna be talking about Taylor Swift and the things that go along with talking about Taylor Swift. Now, I am a huge supporter. There is a nickel on my knee. I am a huge supporter of Taylor Swift. I think she is amazing. I think she's adorable. I think she's a nice sweetheart. I think her and Ellen's friendship is the cutest thing, and they are my bro TP. Uh, that is a friendship ship. Um, I think Taylor Swift gets a lot of crap for dating guys. When in actuality, she's just trying to find love, just like the rest of us. And gets crap for it because she's famous and a woman. Um, nobody gave Seal crap when him, when he, sorry. Nobody gave Seal crap when he and Heidi Klum broke up. And he put out a whole album. He redid a whole album that he already had and made it all breakup songs. I listened to that album. It's not that good. Like that was a th he he was just okay to do that, but Taylor Swift put out puts out a couple of breakup songs in an album, and everybody's like, "Oh my god!" But like that's a thing. That is a like pop album like formula. You put in love songs, you put in breakup songs, you put in dance songs. That's what pop albums are. Look at any artist. And that's pretty much what all of the, but like, breakup songs for other artists are anthems, but when you're Taylor Swift, it's like, oh, who's this about? Another guy she broke up with? You know what Taylor Swift's doing? She's writing about what she knows. She doesn't write her own songs. They need to stop writing those songs because they make her look like a bitter person. Oh, well, that's what people, I don't, I don't think she's bitter. Shit. If I was a song, if I was a uh, singer, I'd write songs about being in love. I'd write songs about breakups. I'd write songs to dance to. That's what I would do. Because that's what you do when you're a pop artist. That's what anybody really does. Like, those, those songs that are played out in the world. Unless you're a country singer. Then that's the... Because rappers do songs about love, about really great girls that they found. And then they do songs about girls that they don't give a flying fuck about. But, you know, it doesn't matter. Um, you need to stop giving Taylor Swift crap about how many people she's dated. When we have two different TV shows where one person dates like 20-something people at a, at once... And we call that entertainment. Like, that's okay. But Taylor Swift can't date one guy at a time trying to find love and not get crap for it. We're like, oh, yeah, the bachelor and the bachelorette. That's okay. That's normal. This is a thing that happens. No. That's not okay to give Taylor. It's okay for them to do that. I don't care about that. I just think it is total shite that people are like, Taylor Swift, blah, 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 blah. But after that, this is, this is fine. It doesn't matter. She is a person, or bachelor. He is a person she's trying to find love. That's what Taylor's doing. People date people all the time. When not famous people date people like the way that Taylor Swift dates people, so nobody gives a shit because they're not famous. Taylor Swift. She's trying to find love, you guys, just like you. But you're hating because she's a girl. You're mad because she gets the people that you want to date. Um, you're stupid. I don't know. Whatever the reason why you think, why you give Taylor Swift crap for dating multiple people uh, over a span of time 
is your own business, but in all honesty, there's nothing, I would, like, there's nothing not normal. Like, it's, it's normal. This is what 20-somethings do. <laughs> this is what 30-somethings do. This is what 40-somethings do. This is what 50-somethings do. This is what 60s, 70s, this is what people do. Uh, when you're younger, that's when, like, you kind of date one person, but what really is dating when you're, like, 12? You know what I mean? Because, um, like, I don't know, that's just the way things are. It's really stupid, but it is. But normal people can do it and it doesn't matter. Taylor Swift does it. She's only getting trapped because she writes songs about the things that she knows, which are breakups, makeups. Well, I don't say that because you're in and parties, man. That's what she writes songs about. But, you know, that's what I've learned. I'm glad she uh, kind of said, fuck you guys. In, in my mind, Taylor Swift said, fuck you guys. Um, and shake it off, and she's like, I go on too many dates, and I can't make them stay. That's what people say. I was like, yes, bitch, call them out on this. Yes. Be like, hey, I'm just trying to find love, okay? That's what that said to me during Shake It Off when she said that. I was like, yes, Taylor. Yes. Hashtag Team Tay Tay. Hashtag, how do you Hashtag T Swift Army, okay? I want her to be happy. That's what I want. All I want is for her to be happy. And if it takes dating like 20 dudes over the course of a few years, dating 20 chicks, I don't care. I just want Taylor Swift to be happy. I'm, I don't even have to like buy all her albums, go to all her concerts to be, to be a true fan. I'm a true fan because I want her to be happy. I want Taylor Swift to find what she's looking for in a partner. Because that's what you want to do, but you give Taylor Swift crap for it for the dumbest reasons. Unless you have proof that, like, her dating all these guys is hurting society in some sort of way. Like, is killing people? I don't fucking know. <laughs> like, that's the way people act about it. And I'm like, dude, get over yourself. Like, it's Taylor. She's... Just trying to find love, just like you. You dated like three girls at once. Shut up, okay? Or check you just mad because she dated who the fuck she dated. You want to date them, but she can't because you just live in fucking Ohio and nobody gives a fuck about you. Okay, you're just mad. That is what I think. I also think that Taylor Swift and Ellen DeGeneres should have a show that is like a little mini series or some shit from um. Uh, what is it, from Ellen's show, uh, where they go around pranking people or um, and each other, and they write songs, and then they go and surprise people with performances, like birthday parties, weddings, graduation parties, whatever. But, like, they walk in dressed up as, like, someone else, and they're like, just kidding, I'm Taylor, I'm Ellen, and we have a song for you, like, that kind of stuff, like, Katy Perry and um, Maroon 5 did in those, in, the, in those two songs, you know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about. So yeah, uh, Taylor Swift, I love you, and I just want you to be happy. Um, if you ever see this, that's how I feel about you. Ellen, you are my idol. I'm glad that you are happy. At least I hope you are happy. I'm glad that if you are, that's great. Um... Hashtag Team Tay Tay, hashtag Team Swift, T Swift Army, uh, hashtag Ellen is my idol, hashtag Ellen is Bay, hashtag Taylor is Bay, hashtag uh, other things I don't know. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys later. Um. I had another video that I recorded, but there was no audio at all, so I have to go and re-record it. And that video was an hour long that I had to edit in two parts, and I'm glad- I'm kind of peeved, but I'm also glad so I can redo it so it won't be as long.
and then I'll make it into a series. Okay. Right. I'll see you guys later. All right, love you. Bye.